In this video, I'll demonstrate how to make a gift card holder. I learned this design probably a couple years ago from a YouTube video, and I'm so sorry I don't remember who it was that posted it, but whoever it was, thank you very much. <laughs> I've used it many times. We had a photo contest at work, and there were first, second, and third prize packages, and in the prize packages was a bus pass. So the bus pass is about the size of a gift card, so I decided to make a gift card holder to put the bus pass in. And I used the Memorable Moments stamp set. It's perfect for these kind of things where you need a number and you need first, second, third, and so on. The base of this gift card holder measures 11 by 4 and a quarter. I scored it in the middle at five and a half, then I scored it three inches from the top and three inches from the bottom. So I'm going to fold this in half, and then I'm going to fold it the other way on the two other score lines to create kind of a zigzag pattern. Kind of like this. So now I'm going to put sticky strip to adhere the middle part. And you want to get it close to the edge because this is this is going to determine how deep your gift card goes into the gift card holder. And then adhere it to the other side. So now you have your gift card holder base. On the inside, you're going to take the word window punch. And I try to, you just want to get it halfway onto the fold. And you want to get it kind of close to the edge, but I can still see the edge, this edge of the card. And then punch. And then do the same thing on the other side. And I'm not worried about the middle because for the middle, we're going to use the one and a quarter inch circle punch and just punch it right in the center there. So now we can fit our gift card right into the slot like so. On the front, I used World Spectacular DSP or designer series paper. It measures four by two and three quarters. And I'm just going to adhere that onto the front. Then I created a belly band that just goes right around. And this piece. It measures about seven and a half inches by one half inch. And I actually need to cut this down. And how I do that is I just cut it right in the middle. And I'm going to cut off a little bit extra here. Because the circle that I put on the front is going to be adhered to it so it will keep it closed. At this point I'm going to create the centerpiece and I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'm just going to stamp the one. To stamp the ST right next to it, you can probably eyeball this pretty good but I kind of like to be a perfectionist sometimes. <laughs> so I'm going to actually create a template for the ST just so I can get it in the perfect spot. And I'm using the stamp of Majig. This really helps to get it get the stamp right where you want it. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take the one and a quarter circle punch 
and punch the first out. And then I'm going to adhere this to, by the way, this is cherry cobbler cardstock. And then I'm going to use the 1 and 3 8 circle punch. Get it centered in there. And then I'm going to take my Island Indigo cardstock. And here this piece to it. To make this look kind of like a prize ribbon, similar to the images on the DSP, I took two pieces that measure, each of them measures one and a half by one half inch. And I just cut a ribbon end on each. And then I adhered those to the back of the center. And then I adhered the center piece the belly band. You don't want to get the belly band too tight because then it's going to be really hard to get it, get the belly band back on after you take it off. So sometimes I actually give it a little bit of give, I guess you could say, before I adhere the centerpiece on. For the inside, of this gift card holder. You can either use a light gel pen. I really like the white uniball white gel pen that Stampin' Up! sells. Or you could put a piece of white cardstock inside either here or on the last panel to leave a sentiment. Or you could just leave it as is and have it be for a first prize. I've included these instructions on my website. I'll include the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching.